Motion graphics are a vital part of modern video editing. They boost visual appeal, guide the viewer's focus, and take the overall production quality to the next level. But creating them from scratch can be really time consuming. Animating titles, adjusting all the keyframes, and building smooth transitions all require a solid understanding of motion design. Even then, the process can be really slow and repetitive. So this is where plugins become essential. They allow us to work faster without sacrificing quality. However, the market is flooded with graphic packs and not all of them are created you know, equally. Many look great in previews, but they quickly become frustrating due to poor optimization or clunky integration with the editing software. Well, this is exactly what makes motion VFX stand out. Their plugins are not only visually refined, clean, modern and professional, but they're also built from the ground up for performance. Every element is designed to work seamlessly inside your preferred software. In my experience, this level of stability and responsiveness is what sets them apart from the rest. So in this video, I will be showcasing five of my favorite motion VFX plugins and how these plugins perform in DaVinci Resolve. But if you are working in Final Cut Pro or Premiere Pro, you will be glad to know these same tools are available there as well. By the way, this is not a sponsored video. I just recently became one of their affiliate partners and tested their products and I wanted to share the ones that I found useful with you. Okay, when you purchase a plugin from their website for the first time, you need to download the M installer. There are options for Mac, Windows and iPad. Once you download and install it on your computer, you will be able to see all the products you have purchased in this panel. From there, you can install them directly into DaVinci. It's a pretty straightforward system. So the first plugin on my list is M Tutorial, and it's the best one for me because a big part of my content revolves around tutorial videos and walkthroughs. This plugin is specifically designed for creators who build tutorials, courses, or any kind of instructional content. What I appreciate most about M Tutorial is how well it covers the essentials. It includes a variety of animated elements like chapter openers, on-screen instructions, keyboard shortcut callouts, and visual cues that help guide the viewer's attention. Everything is built with clarity in mind, simple layouts, smooth animations, and a consistent visual style that makes your content look more professional without distracting from the information. Okay, there is one more important thing I want to highlight here, and this applies to all the plugins I will be talking about. Once you start using them, you will notice that many elements work with a simple drag and drop method. However, some of them need to be placed directly on top of your footage. But if you are using them on a cropped clip, the animation might not show up properly. That's why it's a good idea to use an adjustment clip instead. This way you can clearly see the animation and decide whether or not the effect works for your shot. Next up is MTuber 4 a plugin built specifically for content creators, especially, as the name suggests, YouTube videos. It's packed with tools that help you communicate faster and more effectively with your audience. Inside the pack, you will find animated subscribe buttons, lower thirds, social media handles, comment pop-ups, and even video frame layouts. All of them follow a modern, minimal design language, nothing flashy or distracting, just clean and purposeful motion graphics. The strength of MTuber 4 lies in how well it fits into a fast-paced editing workflow. Every element is drag and drop ready, easy to customize, and built to save time while keeping your content visually consistent. Okay, the third plugin on the list is M Essentials. And as the name suggests, it's one of those must-have toolkits. It's not tied to a specific style or a theme, Instead, it offers a broad set of practical, everyday elements that can enhance almost any kind of video. Inside, you will find a variety of titles, callouts, backgrounds, overlays, and simple transitions. They are all designed with a clean and neutral aesthetic that works well across different types of content. What I like most is how versatile everything feels. It's the kind of plugin that fills in the gaps, especially when you need something quick and effective without spending time building it from the scratch. M Essentials is especially useful for editors who work across different genres, from commercial videos to YouTube content, client work, or even personal projects. All right, next is M Review. 
This one is tailored specifically for product reviews, tech breakdowns, or any content where you are analyzing or showcasing an item in detail. If your workflow includes videos that focuses on gear, software, or features, this toolkit can make a huge difference in how polished and organized your presentation feels. It comes with a wide range of assets, again, device mockups, spec breakdowns, pros and cons layouts, rating graphics, comparison charts, and much more. Each element is designed to make your content clearer, more structured, and easier to follow. What I really like about MReview is how it brings structure to the storytelling. Instead of building graphics from scratch or trying to explain everything verbally, you can visually support your points with quick, sharp animations that keep the video moving forward. The last main plugin on the list is MDocumentary. I'll be honest, I wasn't completely sure about this one at first, it didn't seem like something I would use right away, but I decided to keep it in my toolkit just in case for future projects. And I'm glad I did. MDocumentary is designed for storytelling driven content. Interviews, biographies, behind the scenes pieces, and any project with a more serious narrative tone. It includes lower thirds, quote layouts, chapter titles, location and date callouts, archival style overlays, and more. Everything is designed with a subtle, cinematic feel that fits perfectly within documentary style editing. Even if you don't work in long-form storytelling regularly, I think having these kind of assets on hand is really valuable. They help you create a grounded, informative atmosphere. I mean, the kind that builds trust with the viewer and keeps them focused on the story. Before we wrap up, I want to quickly mention two extra plugins that I think are worth keeping on your radar. The first is M Transition Film Roll. This is a stylish transition pack that simulates the look of analog film reels. It adds just the right amount of texture and movement to give your cut a more cinematic and tactile feeling. I really love these type of transitions and I think it instantly elevates the visual language. The second is M Movement. This one is a collection of camera movements presets that can be applied directly on your clips. These include zooms, pans, handheld shakes, and more, all designed to mimic natural camera motion. They are especially useful when working with static shots that need a bit more life or energy without having to manually animate each movement. Both of these plugins are amazing tools to have when you are looking for that extra layer of quality or character in your edits. Okay, to sum it all up, MotionVFX has become one of the most valuable resources in my editing toolkit. The level of quality, consistency, and usability across all their plugins is seriously impressive. So everything I've shared today is based on genuine experience. I've used these plugins across some of my projects recently, and I wouldn't be recommending them if I didn't truly believe in their value. I will leave the links in the description below and through those you will be able to check out their current deals with discounts up to 20% on many of their plugins. I hope this video will help you discover some tools that can elevate your own editing workflow. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.